You're still watching Ways. Now, Get Organized Day is celebrated on April 26th of each year. Um, this time is one of the things that is very important and you can never get back. The habit of organizing things help you to save time and there's no better time to organize your time than during this lockdown where all you have is that time. <laughs> Such an interesting day. Mm. I am the most scattered person that really? I know. I'm, I, I had I to learn so. this organization the hard way. Really? Yes. But trust me, this lockdown has really unsettled me. I like structure. But for now, my day has turned into night. Night has turned. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> Today, I practically me, begged my children to go and just sleep upset at set. 4 a.m. I begged yes, them, go so and sleep. You know, I think. Even for my two year old, she's up at 2 a.m. When we're not in bed, she's not in bed. Though. You know, wow. it's really unstructured me. And I like to work within structure. With structure, yeah. But unfortunately. Organization is important. God will help us. <laughs> I don't even know. You know, so at some point, somebody is asking, okay, so why do I need to organize my time? But, you know, that's Oh, it. but it saves time. Yeah. And you're better. You have all the time right now, so. And I don't even have that time. <laughs> Funny enough, 24 hours now is not enough. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, me, I'm thinking it's too much there. <laughs> all right, so what did you find for us in the news? Okay, level? it's still the news from Kano. Wow. What is happening in Kano? For me, I do not think it's COVID-19 for some reason. <laughs> with all the things that we've heard? I think there's an outbreak of another epidemic that we are not paying attention to. Don't forget there's also Lassa fever. I know and there's Lassa, Lassa fever. fever is actually killing more people than COVID-19. But all attention has been shifted to COVID. So, but what so do we do? It could be an outbreak that we I are not know. aware of. But how come it But they're not acting fast enough. 640 deaths in a week is outrageous. Did you want that interview? <laughs> you know, but what I'm saying is how come the, the symptoms are quite similar to COVID? You know, I breathlessness. I don't the same symptoms. You know, yeah, most of the, the ones that we've and seen, at least the ones that surfaced. Yeah, even the prominent people. You know, so that even makes it... Another professor has died today. Six professors has died, have died within a space of three days. That is outrageous. So I'm just concerned that I hope this is not an outbreak of another epidemic that we're not paying attention to. Oh, well, that's that's my a... worry. And I'm really, really worried about Kana. It's gotten me depressed since yesterday. You know, I just started looking at it. When I started seeing the videos, I'm, also very, I'm always very wary about news on social media, mm -hmm. except I see it on traditional media. So when NTA carried it, then I said, okay, I think there's some sort of, you know, genuity in this news. And it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's a bit um, depressing to me. Hmm. All right, so um, mine is actually, I don't know whether I, I call it this depressing or, you know, following your line, the director general of um, the NCDC okay. has called out for, he's saying that we're in need of extraction kits for the <laughs> COVID-19 testing. That's the DG. I ran into you know, that today. So. Yeah, he said this, uh, I think, today via Twitter, while calling on medical pharmaceutical companies and distributors who have these kits in stock to come out, that please, um, that we're desperate, desperately looking for more RNA extraction kits as we expand the COVID-19 testing um, so this would definitely uh, around the impede, country. It's going to impede testing. Absolutely. And we've ramped up testing, and I think that's why we're seeing more numbers, and we have not even picked. You know, and what, what is even a, a bit worrisome for us, you know, in Kano, the NCDC center the is shut, shut down. down. Yeah, because some of the, the, the staff there tested have contracted positive. COVID. So, I mean, it's, it's something that we'll look into. But it's something interesting, though. Um, I hear the, the Kano state governor it's good when we call them out, we also say what they're doing right. At least, I think, I mean, I was watching the news and I, I saw that he's ordered for a million um, face masks for his people. Protective and, face Yeah, mask. and he's also asking the federal government that they need support to be able to get this testing, you know, done. So hopefully, let's I've see what happens. After you when um, the, this, um, the incursion of um, COVID-19, the early stages of the incursion of COVID-19, I was not particularly worried about the South. But I was very, very worried about the nurse. Yeah. 
Surely the I literacy, knew, yeah. yes, because of the literacy rate, yeah. it's going to be once it gets into the north, it's going to be very bad. It is going to be very, it's going to be very, very bad. Very bad. Well, this so is... immediately I started hearing the news from Kano, I just got depressed because it just confirmed my fears, my early day fears. So it's, it's, it's sad. Okay, so today we're talking. Um, how children, because it's important that we do not leave them behind, yeah. how children are coping with the lockdown and also their schoolwork. You know, some children have had to move their learnings online. And I think we want to check up on one of our students. Her name is Yasmin Basharu. Do we have Yasmin Basharu? I don't know, because yeah. um, she is a student in um, year nine. Okay. Yasmin Basharu, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi, Thank Jasmine. You. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So what, tell us how you've been coping with the lockdown and, you know, d juggling schoolwork and staying at home. Um, it's been all right. Um, I've used this long period of time to develop my talents and try and find new ones. And this online school situation, it's more straightforward. It's, you know, it's basically putting your education in your own hands. So it's more of I need to I need understand that I need to do my work quickly. I need to do everything so I have my time for that and my time for other things as well. So you don't miss your friends. You don't miss the traditional setting of a school. Oh no, I definitely do miss the traditional setting, and I do prefer that mm -hmm. setting. But I feel like we still need to be able to adapt to this because nobody really planned for this pandemic to actually happen. And we, whether or not we like it, this might be how things are going to be. And we need, just need to make the best out of the situation to get the best possible outcome. So we need to do what needs to be done so we can get the best out. So Yasmin, since we talked about time, how are you managing your time? So walk us through your routine. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do? You know, do you have a structured time for learning and or how are you going about that? Yes. Well, when I wake up in the morning, um, since this is um, when I wake up in the morning, first of all, I get ready and everything, do my salads, do everything. So we need to um, I've been building different talents. I love to read, write, do everything. So I have my time for all of those things. My mom also decided that we should start practicing presentations. So we learn presentation, our stance, how to talk in front of a crowd. So then I do different things. I can see that it's working because you're talking to us excellently well. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you managing? You are the oldest um, child of your parents, right? So how are you managing your siblings? Yes. Are they driving you up the wall? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Even though we do argue as usual, but then not really. So do you, do, do you prefer, if this were to continue for a long time, would you... Would you be? Would you? Would you still accept it? And would you love it? And still, you know, be sane? I definitely would not be the most excited person about that situation. However, I think that it's important that we adapt to this. So, as I wouldn't be that excited, I will still be happy to work with what I have to get good grades, to succeed in school, do everything, just work with everything because. Nobody really planned this. This isn't so, what something did, someone did on purpose. It's what we have to do. So. All right. Thank you so much, Yasmin. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. All right. So Oluwa, Jomiloju, and Alpha will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.